And it's your weekend edition of the program Capital Market. I'm Tempula Shadju. Welcome. Thank you for joining us on the show on Channel Television, uh, your number one television station in Nigeria. Well, let's quickly begin with the numbers, the way they ended this week, started with the equities markets, which is almost always number one on our radar. Proceedings in the markets are closed mixed during the week, and with two of the five sessions closing positive, offsetting the three other sessions of losses. The key benchmark index was up some 0.23% to 32,200.21 points, with the monster date returns improving to a positive of 0.23%. And of course, the year-to-date performance now trimming down to 15.80%. Among the sectoral performance, we've got the consumer goods and oil and gas indices, which were the best performing com uh, companies on the markets, while returns were negative in the industrial goods insurance sector. And of course, the oil and gas indices. And that's attributed to the demand that we saw on Nestle and Seplat for the uh, consumer goods and the oil and gas shares, while for others, we've got WAPCO declining in the uh, industrial goods sector. Mutual benefits experienced the worst heat in terms of the insurance segment, and O and Do, uh, also in the oil and gas sector, declined um, really massively. While notably, most stocks, FTN Coco, Premier Paints, Eco Corporation, uh, Austin Laz and Academy Press resumed trading this week at the Nigerian Stock Exchange after the NSE listed uh, trading suspensions earlier imposed on the late filing of their accounts. And for the NASD OTC, we, has the, we have the unquoted securities. We've got the index back at the 700 psychological line. Then that this week, 702.12 after rising some 2.85% with a market capitalization of some 487.99 uh, billion naira. Uh, you got volume rising by some 16% for this week, of ending at 1.26 million and valued at 88.75 million naira. In total, we had some 60 deals in the markets, while Priceland Campina Wamco ended the trading session for this week at 149 Naira 20 Kobo after adding some 3 Naira 75 Kobo to the share price. And CSCS, the capital market depository, which is also tradable on that exchange, uh, closed at 11 Naira 90 Kobo after adding 2 Naira 10 Kobo. And these two securities were the main trading uh, numbers and names on the platform uh, for this week. In terms of volume, they represent the volume shockers. Uh, later on the show, we'll be joined by an analyst who will also give us the trading perspective on the NASD OTC. Uh, all along, we've been having the CEOs and the regulators talking more about that platform. But today, we have the privilege of a trader joining us, of course, to be able to give us the perspectives. Let's move on with the markets where the debt market uh, remained a bit bearish this week. We start with the bonds markets, which, which settled bearish amidst the continued uh, foreign sell-offs and cautious trading by market players. As a result, the average yield rose 10 basis points week on week to close at 15.37%. It got yields expanding across the short, the mid, and of course the long end of the curve following sell-offs that we saw on June 2019, February 2028 20, this week, which ended uh, up expanding some 14 basis points, and of course July 2034. But for the numbers you got right there on the screen, you have the 28th, 23rd of February 2028, which was priced at 91 Naira 20 Kobo, uh, tells you it's been jacked up from a low of 91 Naira 16 Kobo. That's the number for yesterday, and we had 18 deals yesterday for all, all, all for a value of 6.23 billion Naira. Tells you we really had bearish trading yesterday. And for the Treasury bills market, you got activities in the T bills being bearish as well, amidst increased. Open market operations interventions by the CBN. Uh, you got yields rising some 23 basis points to close the week at 13.67% on the average. We saw sell pressure across the different ends of the curve. That includes the short, the mid, and of course the long. The 13 day to maturity, for example, had to expand by 73 basis points, while the 111 day to maturity expanded some 44 basis points. 
and the January 2019 security uh, is one of the 111 data maturities, as you can ha as you see there on the screen, uh, discounted at 13.1% yesterday on the FMDQ platform. Uh, you saw we got some 46 deals there, but then we had uh, it moving away from the 12.85%. It was uh, settled at in the uh, previous uh, trading session. So this week, uh, on Thursday precisely, the Nigerian Stock Exchange had to honor the family and, of course, the late uh, Director General, Pioneer DG now, of the Nigerian Stock Exchange in person of the late uh, Apostle Hayford Alili. We got the family been brought to the Nigerian Stock Exchange to close the markets. Uh, the family was around, and that session actually preside, preceded the uh, funeral ceremony which held this week in Lagos. Uh, during that period, the wife of the late Pioneer DG was on the floor, and of course the daughters and of course all other members of the family were there. We had also uh, the privilege of the uh, uh, council president of the Nigerian Stock Exchange in person of Mr. Uh, Bimbo Gobanjo, who you have talking right there on the screen. You also have the past uh, president and council of the NSC or the former director uh, president of the council was also there in person of Oba Otsudeko. The CSCS, which is the depository of the Nigerian uh, capital market at large, was also present. It was a collaboration between the CSCS and, of course, the NSE to have this program uh, carried out on that th on Thursday precisely before the uh, funeral ceremony uh, took place on, 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 on Friday. And we had the privilege of uh, talking to the CEO of the depository, the depository which was also formed by the uh, late DG, Mr. Lili. Uh, we got me, the CEO of the CSES, that's Mr. Haruna Jalo Waziri, and of course the a former president of the exchange in person of Oba Osudeko. Let's hear their thoughts. The stock exchange has honored him today, and we're very proud of what he has done. Uh, I'll talk about this from two perspectives. From uh, where I sit as a CEO of the CSCS, Alile was uh, single-handedly, during his own time, uh, determined, you know, how uh, the CSCS was going to be formed from a perspective that, you know, we needed an automated clearing system. And I think it was his idea, even though Dr. Okereke Oronke was in charge of the project, but certainly I can say that, you know, he, he actually drove that process of 